All right, episode six of Peter Grill in the Philosopher's Time. Of course, in the last one, the Guildmaster set up a date with Peter and uh, and Piglet, like this uh, little orc chick. Apparently, she actually turned out to be very, very, very cute. Was uh, before I thought uh, <laughs> he was going to go on a date with that uh, tall, ugly one, but bro, damn, like so they actually hit it off, went to town, you know, just hung out. Peter, you know, saved her from a couple of uh, fodder. Uh, Father, uh, people, uh, what's a trio, whatever. They weren't even important. I don't even know. They were just hired by the guild master just to, you know, <laughs> just so Peter can come in and kind of woo Piglet. Like, the plan was actually a pretty good plan. Now, after it's all said and done, he was like, nope, I don't want to be married to this chick. I'm good, bro. I'm I'm good. We, we had a good time, but no, nah, I'm good. But nope, guild master, guild master isn't having that shit. Put them boys in a room, and, <laughs> and Piglet, she's just in that, like, silk gown, titties out, ass out. <sighs> now, a normal man, <laughs> a normal man would probably give in, but Peter, Peter has a lot to lose in this, you know? It's, it's not worth it. Peter, come on, bro. So, hopefully, in episode five, I mean, episode six, I mean, sorry, <laughs> hopefully, in episode six, he actually comes through, he actually, you know, gets a win in one of these episodes where he doesn't just give in. Let's see what's going to happen. Episode 6 of Peter Grill in the Philosopher's Time. Let's go. God damn. Wait, what the? Oh! Oh, got her hornet, bro. <laughs> no. Peter. Bro. All right, Peter. Run, bro. <laughs> for the team what nah bro here we go he's a grown orcs true character Come on, Peter. Yes. Peter, no, bro. Peter, come on. Bro. Come through. At least one time. One time. Oh. Bro, no, bro. Don't don't guilt trip us now, bro. No. Peter, get out the room, bro. Why are you still? Get, come on, one time, Peter. 
one time, bro. Be strong one time. This man. Bro. This. You knew this was a setup. You knew this was a setup. And you still fought, you still fell for the Genjutsu. Or how, how can we get, he's the strongest man on earth. You gotta kill Piggy. Oh. <sighs> Hopefully this works. You wouldn't be as nervous if you didn't fuck the bitch. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a miracle, bro. Unbelievable. <laughs> Oh, Peter. <laughs> oh, shit.
Pig was crazy. Well, Peter bought it on himself. That's, what, what else can I say? Bought it on himself. <laughs> oh, Peter. Oh my god, bro. What are you doing? This man. This man has created a monster. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't know how he's gonna get out of it. He's gonna tr be transferred to the same Yodism. Well, Piglet's gonna be transferred to the same Yodism, and this is gonna make everything worse. Cause now he really has to deal with the older sisters, Piglet. Yeah, I. I don't know if the elf is still in, in the mix. I don't. I don't know what she's doing, but but that's that's. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Talk about a harem you don't want. <laughs> All Peter had to do was, was stood, stood firm. Is it that hard, Peter? Is it that hard to say, yo, listen, I'm not going to mess up this chick. One, one time, I was just hoping for one time where I could say, yo, Peter, I respect you, my dude. Like, he stood firm against all odds, you know, in the face of adversity. He stood his ground and he said, no to the boobs. He said no. <laughs> Peter, come on, man. <laughs> How can you be the strongest man and yet you're weak to tits? Good luck, Peter. All right, guys. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.